Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of SNS Storytime Podcast. You're here with your host, Sky. I'm here with the co host, Matt. And the assistant to the co host, David. And before we introduce our guest, uh, hopefully someone's listening. Oh, I don't know what's going on up there. Oh, we're not going to be able to read it from here. No. Uh, I, I can read I, it. I'm going to be getting up and going over can, there, kind okay. of back and forth. I can read it from my but phone. Oh, we you can are read it from my phone. on Instagram Live right now. Yes, we are Instagram Live. Uh, this is the first time we're doing it. First time. You guys can't hear the audio or anything. We're going to work on trying to get those kind of things situated. I but said some people are watching. But if you're here, thanks for being here. We got two viewers. One of them is me. <laughs> <laughs> But um, now that that's over, David, go ahead and uh, introduce our guest here today. With us today, guys, Matthew, you know her, Skylar, you know her. I this don't know her that well. I this have talked true. about her in the podcast. We are here with my lovely girlfriend, Lauren. <laughs> yeah. Hey, woo. Woo. Oh, I don't you know want to do like, a, like an aww. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, I, yeah. I could yeah. do it. I was going to say, I didn't even set up my buttons today. Way to ruin I the was, moment. I was so excited. <laughs> Or what we were what we were having today? Let me let me get my. Yeah, you, who, who, is there any like comments or anything? Is anyone commenting? Um, you not, guys suck. I take it see. off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Lauda commented, "Watch me come show up." Oh wow, she watches it too. Yeah, she just. Well, it was the first time that someone could watch it. Oh oh <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fair we enough, ain't never fair been enough. live before. Fair enough, but yeah. the better late than never. Better better late than never. That, I, mean, I was referring to that for David and. Uh, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, but uh, yeah, guys. So a, a little bit of news. We we've we got a few suggestions for the names towards us. Um, wait, did we flip that after all? Flip what? Yes. Okay. But, I mean, so we're sim- that one first. Yeah. The S first. Okay. Um. Then we'll, we'll, we'll unless get- you just want to go number two first, and then we'll we- go number two first. Okay. We'll, and then we'll go down the line. Okay. So um. We got a we got a little bit of mail in, and not just that, but we oh wow look at five, five viewers, viewers. Hey, yeah. That, that give him a shout out or what? <laughs> give him a shout out, yeah. Give him a shout out, out, Dave. How do I look? How do I look? How do I look? I don't okay, know. okay. Ooh, gonna, click on the five. Ooh, all right, gonna give a shout out to <laughs> mine and Matt's cousin Laura. Okay, shout out to Laura. Hey, Laura. Matt's other cousin Andrew. Hey. Shout out hey, hey, Andrew. Andrew. Ian? Shout out Drew. Matt, Ian. Matt's oh friend. yeah, what's Ian? up, Ian? Okay. David, me. I'm watching. <laughs> oh. And. uh <laughs> George's fiance. Oh wow! Oh, yeah. What's up, Mel? How's it going, up, guys? Awesome. Okay. Well, um, we got a little bit of mail in. I'm actually sweating so much because I'm nervous. My glasses are getting all foggy. Oh man. Uh, yeah. I'm I'm excited. Hey, take a deep breath. We're good, man. It's just like it's just like old times. Bro. Yeah, it is just like you old know? times. It is just like old times. But um, oh, wait. Can I show him the new Stanley? Oh, show him the new Stanley. Show off the Stanley. Show off the Stanley. New pickup. New pickup. Oh, but you know what? We didn't even give Lauren a chance to introduce herself. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, Lauren. Lauren. I'm sorry. We just got right into that. We We just kind of skipped over that. No, it's okay. Um, Hi, I'm Lauren. I'm David's girlfriend. Uh, I've been David's girlfriend for way too long. Oh, oh, wow. Whoa, whoa, (laughs) whoa, 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 whoa. podcast, so I needed to be here to defend myself. Okay, okay. He's always roasting me. Do you have a rebuttal for that, David? No. No? Oh, there's still peanuts in my room. (laughs) <laughs> You're lying. Let's, You're lying. Let's get something straight. We all know he lies. I, I've never known David to lie in my entire <gasps> no, life. No, no, he doesn't. But also, I have seen the peanuts in the room. Oh. I, I go into his room and I do see peanuts. I have not <laughs> so seen not the peanuts actually. in the room. I'll I never, have not. I'll never be your wingman oh again. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. But uh, that that being said, though, uh, that being said. we are we are really happy to have you on, Lauren. We're yeah. happy to have you. Thank you. you. I'm happy to be here. So um, I'll go over a few things that I re- the feedback I received. We only had one episode last week. It's going to be a little more difficult to get multiple episodes with you, your school, me, work, and technically still school in a weird way. Speaking of school, I, I passed my exam this morning. Oh, nice. I passed my Spanish exam. Nice, That's brother. a double. That's nice. a double. Heck yeah. Yeah. Um, but we, we got a, some feedback in that I'm going to go ahead and make open to everybody and uh, in an email. So I'll start with the email. So this is from Mr. Rodney Garcia. Rodney Garcia. Uh, yeah, okay. I, I was in wedding I, with I, him. I meant yeah. to give him a shout out also. Yeah. He, had sent, he had sent us a message. Go ahead, Heck give yeah. him a shout out. So, yeah. so yeah, well, shout out to you, Rhett. Rod, oh, I gave. I pulled the full gov out. I just realized that. Oh, man. <laughs> I pulled the full gov. Full gov. Wow. That's actually insane. <laughs> but uh, that, that so is. Rodney, this comes from him. I started watching the podcast just about every night, watching one or two episodes every night, and it has been a great thing to look forward to at the end of the day. Some things I want to comment on and give my opinion about that we that were talked about or mentioned on the podcast are, number one, Matt, for doing sock shoe, sock shoe, 
is wild. I'm hey, definitely a sock, sock, shoe, shoe guy. Let me let me interrupt you real quick. Matthew, wave to JR. He just joined. Oh, shout out. What's up, JR? And uh, number two, Aaron is wild for watching TikToks full blast while him, Matt, and David are watching movies. It's definitely Facts. something that should be taboo or an unspoken rule when watching movies. Exactly. Other than that, y'all are doing great. Hopefully, y'all keep it up and put out an episode or ideally two episodes a week. It's definitely cool listening to you all talk about things and topics when I know I've seen and talked to y'all y'all in person. Yeah. So shout out to you, Rodney. Thanks Appreciate for that. You, Rodney. That, Appreciate that you, Rodney. That was really sweet, man. We always like getting feedback from you guys. Now, the personal feedback that I've received from those that I know that listen and I see them on you know, a face-to-face basis, we are going to return, and I've already talked to you guys about this, mm-hmm. David Safari it's is returning. Back. Dave Safari about is back. time. It's back. I couldn't live with Judge Fudge. J- Judge Pudge. <laughs> Judge, Judge Pudge. Pudge. Judge Pudge. Pudge. <laughs> it, was, it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> the one and done. The one and a done. A one-hit wonder. But, that I mean, that, that's what we said we were going to do, though. We were going to give it a trial. I accidentally so, played a bad word yeah, <laughs> during the recording. Right. I had to edit that. <laughs> But yeah, um, that being said, David actually chose today's topic that we're going to be talking about. Um, I, I say, can you go ahead and no, introduce I didn't. it? Yes, no, you did. I didn't. Yes, this no, was all I you. didn't. This was all you. Lauren did. Oh, okay. Lauren, introduce it. No, I didn't. <laughs> all right, all right. But I can't use my phone to look up what I have. <laughs> He's got red-handed oh. about another lie. Oh, you can't. Has can't. anyone said anything? You want the iPad? Uh, do people know about your my your next occupation? Because I got a comment about that. Oh, um. I mean, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be teaching and coaching. I I, I, I think it's it's public news now. Okay, I got a comment from Ian. Okay, Coach Garza on the top. Yeah, I try. So are you I going try. by Coach Garza or Coach Gilbert? Uh, so I told the kids. Why would it be Coach Gilbert? Yeah, why would I let them call me by? I my, call Coach Tito Tito by, by my gov. That's that was different that's though. True. That was not, different. It's different, but it's yeah, not. Yeah, it's really different, weird. but it's not. How is it different, but it's it, not? Yeah, because that's just what the coaches introduced him as. They said this is Coach Tito. No, I, mean, I, I, I I heard him as Coach Moreno. I didn't. I was introduced to him as Coach Tito. Nah. Or was, or or Coach Perez, Lazaro. I call him Laz. Yeah, Laz. But but everyone that's because everyone, everyone calls him Laz. Laz. Uh, I don't know. It's different. But I was, I was introduced as Coach Garza, and I had a few kids ask, uh, like, you want Coach G? Or like, uh, like yeah, hey, what okay. I call you? So I said, like, you know, you can call me Coach G, Mr. G, Coach Garza. Or, not Mr. Or, G. Or Mr. Oh wait, you know you didn't you didn't get to Bishop. No, whenever I, Mr. G was there, it's like nah. There's uh, only one Mr. G. You yeah. can't be Mr. G. Well, he's retired, so yeah. It's time. It's time. But to still, fill he's shoes. Mr. G. You can't, you can't be shoes. Mr. G. Uh, but either way, um, appreciate the the being on top thing. David, go ahead and um, give him your little your little spiel here. All right, I've been I've been suggesting this for a while only because you have been. It's been about it, three it, weeks. It, it's it's been everywhere. Let's yeah. be honest. Okay, you always see it. Today we're going to talk about the Simpsons predictions coming true. The craziest ones that have came true so far. Okay. And I'm just looking at them. I'm looking at, what, 17? Yeah, I'm looking at 17 of them right now. <laughs> and I'm just going to look at the ones that I know. Because I don't know. Baby translator? Is there a real baby translator? What? I don't know what? what? It, says, it says baby translator. I don't know anything about that. You're, out of all the ones you could have brought up, you brought up the one that I have no Look clue about. Look at this. About. Season 23, episode 22, Lady Gaga at the Super Bowl. Okay. see How that, did they know that? Okay, that one. Uh, I saw the one correctly predicting Super Bowls, season 3, episode 4, Lisa the Greek. And in that same episode, they also predicted Trump 2024. Mm-hmm. That was season 11, episode 17 for Trump presidency. So, what what is... Is that when the... Yeah, the next that would be wild. That one, that one came out in two thousand. I'm not gonna lie. If that one were to happen again, that would be pretty, they pretty also, surprising. Didn't they also predict the queen's death, right? Oh yeah, yeah go, they go predicted ahead. Predicted the queen's death. Uh, I think so. I think, I think I saw that somewhere too. So, um, there's there's a lot. There's a lot, and it's like to the T. They predicted smartwatches. That one seems kind of broad, though. Like yeah. they do that in agent movies and everything. I mean, I'm wearing one. Look, look you know? at this one. Look yeah, at this like one. Inspector Gadget. Like, yeah, they they. Yeah. That look one's a look at this one. Season six, episode nineteen, which came out in nineteen ninety five. FaceTime. Dang. FaceTime. FaceTime. I okay. wasn't even born like Nokia in 95. phones were the thing back then. Computers yeah. weren't really all too. Okay. Look I at, mean, it's very ahead of its time, and it's it's so much so that I would argue that it, it's if it happened a few times. Don't get me wrong. The show has been going on a long time. How long has the show been going? Can anyone pull that up? Uh, the 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 time period, like years. Um, it's been going on for an extended period of time. Coincidences are bound to happen. For sure. 
But for you to it, eat, for look it, it to up, happen that many and times, and just be like, "Oh, look, sixty-four times." The it's like, "Whoa!" That's to, a, and like to be like with sometimes spe- specific details. Yeah, it's a little too co- coincidental. Yeah, you know? I know. I would All agree. Right. Lauren looked it up. They let me see. Is your phone? Open? They first aired in nineteen eighty nine. 1989. 1989. I don't even think my so parents were dating in 1989. It's been 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, about 33 years. Something like and that. And easily over like 60 something predictions from what I've seen. That's more than two predictions a year. And there, there, there's some pretty wild stuff. Like, okay, this is something that I try to think about it logically, right? So it says uh, season 21, epi- like that. Come on, season 21, episode 12. The U.S. wins gold in curling. I could see that. You know, people like, oh, curling, you know, it's as a joke. You know what I mean? Not that curling's not a sport. It's definitely a sport, but it's just that I do think there's coincidences. Yeah. The Lady Gaga one, though, that's pretty. I think that was. Or look at this one. When when did that one come out? That one came out season 23, episode 22. So we would have to look at the air date for season 23, Um, episode 22. So, I mean, for a while, Lady Gaga the was... The 20, 2012, ep- it came out in 2012. 2012? 2012. For a See? while, Lady Gaga was pretty and big, the, though. The, so, it's kind of like... And the Super Bowl was in... The Super Bowl came out in 2017. Okay. So, what, five years? About five years. Like, so, for the people listening, cause since you guys have the opportunity to listen, do you guys think that the Simpsons can predict the future? Or it's the main guy. Uh, they think he he's a time traveler is what it is. Homer? Yeah, no, that guy. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> um, no, the the cre- like the writer, the, the actual writer yeah, or yeah. creator uh, that he's traveled into the future, or he's a time traveler rather, um, and that he created this show in an effort to foretell the future, yeah, in a, in a way. Uh, so I just want to know if you guys think that that that's true, or you guys believe that if that's the case. I, I do think it's odd to begin with, but hey, um, look at this I, one. Look at this one. I personally season four episode twenty one uh-huh. aired in nineteen ninety three. They predicted the pandemic. See, I did see that one. That yeah. one's wild, dude. And didn't was it COVID? It was it, COVID, it, wasn't it it? it? it it was called the Osaka flu. The Osaka, but flu. it's similar to COVID, like the symptoms and yeah. everything. Yeah. See, that's weird. That you know what? You know what else I saw? They what? predicted Pokemon Go. Did they really? Yeah. I want to. I want to know when that one was. Unless it was fake news I saw on Twitter, but I'm more than positive. I caught a shiny last night. Oh, did you really? A shiny Glamia. That's a and David got a shiny what? Uh, Nidoran. Nidoran. That's he also was a like, good one. He's getting mad. He's like, dude, how come you're always catching them and I never do? They predicted the Ebola outbreak. Season 9, uh, episode 3. Ebola's wild. Dude, do you remember when that was happening? I'm, we I was were like, in, were we in 8th grade? No. That was not in high school. Were we in high school? No, we were younger than that. Like, a lot younger than we that. We got a comment. We got a comment. Oh, let me hear it. Melanie said, this is George. Oh, okay. this is, from reading it, this is George. George, no, George left already. I thought. Now he leaves tomorrow. Oh, we could have played Overwatch last night. Okay, he go ahead. Said, <laughs> he said, "Nah, not real. Just always a coincidence." So you really think every that time was like a Melanie. coincidence? No, yeah. I don't think Melanie would put nah. Yeah, Melanie won't say nah. Uh, He'll say no, comma. Uh, I don't. Yeah, know. yeah. I don't think it's a, it's too many times to be a coincidence, dude. And too many details to be. You know? And they're very precise details. Yeah. Have you seen where they take the exact clips and then they put a different, and it's like, it's dang near the exact same. There's, of course, yeah. there's going to be little differences. But if you're time traveling, realistically, things are going to be a little different when you come back. So whenever you picture time travelers, like, how do you picture them? Is it like that Disney movie, like when they time travel? Minutemen? Minutemen. Minute I that love one. that movie. Dude. I don't think is it like that. them? or I, I think. Or is it like Phineas and Ferb? Like, they get like a little machine and, like, and they just. So like the dinosaur ages. There's a story. This is going to have to be a whole other episode uh, in and of itself. But there's a story. It is considered the most recorded. Is that Pikachu? That's cool. They predicted Pokemon. Actually, Hill. that's wow. actually, that's actually cool. We got two more comments. Let me, um, let me hear them. Melanie or George. I, don't, I honestly don't. Know. <laughs> I, we're, we're just sounded like George. them. They. <laughs> but there are so many episodes. Yeah, there are and. We just did well, they, the math. There's almost two to three that, predictions I, per I year. I get that. I get that argument. But like, if they're trying to do it to like, like foretell the future, like 
Don't you think people would catch on if it's every single episode? It, and yeah, and they'd be like, that. like y'all, like we gotta make a stop to this. Look, look at things like other you animated know? shows, like Family Guy, and all these other things. They would have yeah. predicted the future yeah. at least another, once. Coincidentally, another, epi- another comment um, from your student, I guess. Uh huh. Ian, what did he say? Not too sure what season it was, but they predicted the Titan. Titan. I, I, actually, I heard oh, about that. that, the, that the submarine. The yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. No, the, oh, I did hear about that. So that, I, that I guy actually that. came out. Uh, the because he the one that actually wrote that episode, he was on the. Uh, he was on the submarine. He he had, he got to experience the other one, the one that didn't you know implode, obviously, yeah, uh-huh. obviously. And he just as soon as he got off, he said the first thing that came to his mind was, "Well, what would it be like in this situation, like in the Simpsons?" And that he just coincidentally wrote about it. He did come out and say that, like, immediately after it happened. But again, it's just it's weird. It's hard to not look at how many times this has happened. Yeah. And think that, oh, well, it's not, you know. Yeah, it's yeah, not. yeah, yeah. It's not. Let, me, let me see who that is. I Is that really one of my students? Yeah. Really? I, I feel bad. Let me see. I can see. I don't know what it goes with count. Oh, well, I mean, I can just. Anyway. He's going to say his name on there whenever you see it. Let me see. Oh, I I think he's, I feel he, bad. Man. He's going to his. Uh, I hate you. I feel bad. He's, he's going to be a freshman. You. Is he going to be a freshman? Yeah. Okay, so he might be one of my junior high kids. Uh, either way, it's um, it's definitely I. It's just too many times to be coincidental in my yeah. opinion. It it doesn't make it doesn't make logical sense to me that somebody can create something at such a consistent rate and it not be. And I think it's created because we could argue that it argue that it's consistent enough. To be done purposefully, yeah. Because uh, I don't know otherwise why else you would you would do it. And one of the ones that, um, again, that I just find odd, um, not because. <laughs> What's up, David? <laughs> Andrew's talking to you. Oh, what do you say, Coach Garza? Terrible coach. Oh my gosh! <laughs> whatever. <laughs> um, another one that the NSA, right, which is the National Security Association. Uh-huh. Um, the ones that the whole phone call situation, they predicted that in 2007. How like, do you, how like do you sit there and phone just call say, like, like the ones like they were tracking our call yeah. listening in. The only other thing I could think about for some of these is that this guy just happens to talk to a lot of people that are kind of like out there and any of their like theories that they have. Like weird conspiracies yeah, he's and like, like just, I'm making an episode. I'm writing about that. Yeah. But yeah. Has he ever come out and addressed that? Like address the whole thing publicly? I don't think he would. Cause what if like he knows too much? Uh huh. Mm. <laughs> knows too much. So like a you know? like a plead the fifth thing. If I just don't say anything, yeah, I can't say it. it. Yeah. If I don't admit it, it's coincidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But all right, dude. Man. All right. That's crazy. Back what? back to Lady Gaga. You were saying she was popular at the time. Yeah, like poker there's, face okay, and all this stuff. No way they predicted her pop, pop, outfit. <laughs> the outfit's pretty. That's similar. insane. There's no way they predicted her outfit. I don't see I any rockets going guessed. out of. It ran out. <laughs> it ran out. I mean, I, I would argue it's pretty accurate for 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 it being the Simpsons art. Yeah. it's pretty accurate. Uh, I can't I can't argue on that. That's weird, dude. That That's just some weird stuff, man. I don't know. So that's uh, why I never watched the Simpsons, bro. I, I, I watched the Simpsons never movie. Enjoyed it. The, the movie's great. Yeah, I, I like I the movie. I personally never really enjoyed. The, I'm more of a Family Guy type. Oh, of, oh, Tyler. Yeah. Poops just joined. Oh, what's up, Poops? How's it going, man? It's our first time live. So thanks for coming in. Thanks for being here. Hey, Poops, how does it feel to lose in fantasy twice already? Oh. Ooh. Ooh. That was tough. That was a that's tough gotta one. That's got to hurt. That, 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 that was, that was deep, right? That was a deep I'm one. I'm getting ready for the season, man. I'm getting ready. Uh, but that being said, um, I think I think we can we can go ahead and – I feel like there's so much to talk about on this he one, said, and it's so difficult. He said, what's up, lads? Oh, that's, that's <laughs> one of his words, lads. Lads. Lads, I do like that one. He's put that one in my vocabulary, actually. And Lauren, like, she's just a lad? Lauren. What's that oh. about? Oh. What's that about? Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, well, oh be, and he th- said, common L, Matt. Oh, oh no, to, common Matt L, sorry. Uh, to be, to not be even fair, into that. He, he wasn't... Um, he wasn't here for the introduction, so he probably didn't. So let's not even get into that comment. Now. I'm two-time champion in the last three years. Okay. I'm and in the middle year, I lost in the semifinals. You did, the semis. You lost to... I don't remember. I, I lost to Mike. Mike, because Mike, Mike won it all. Yeah, I Mike lost to Mike. Mike won it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike. Mike Ox. Um, 
I just realized what his name was, but so he, uh, <laughs> at least I didn't finish it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. But yeah. Uh, so final thoughts before we move on to the next segment, what, what do you guys think your final verdict? Is it, is it real? Is, is he a time traveler or does just in general, do you think the Simpsons has something to do with time travel, a future prediction, anything in that realm? I don't know if it's specifically him by himself, uh-huh. but he might know people that like know more than they should. Okay. And then gets his writing ideas from things like that. I never thought of it thought about it that way. Like you it's know? not him, yeah. but it's those around him that Yeah, he that's that's with. kind okay, of what I'm thinking. That's actually smart. I mean, he's a, obviously he's written and animated one of the most successful Notorious. animated history uh, yeah. animated shows in history. So I can't argue. That's actually a really good claim. That that's I like that theory. Lauren I have to agree with Matt. I think there's, like, a very powerful team, and I don't think one person can just come out and say, like, predicting these really specific things that are happening and just come out and say it. I think, yeah, he would. Okay, see? Yeah. And and I, <laughs> I honestly think you guys have, have – y'all's thoughts on that's kind of pushing me towards that same thought yeah, process. Yeah, like, it, it, it just makes more sense. Yeah, it, it seems more logical. I never yeah. watched the show either. Like, the only time I see it is if it's on TikTok, but it's comparing yeah. to what has actually yeah. happened. I've only it's ever seen cool, clips though. of it through YouTube. Like, mm-hmm. uh, I've watched, like, hour-long, it, it kind of, like, research studies on like it. Like you said, like, logical, like, to an unlogical situation. Like, that, it's yeah. a weird... It's just, it's so out but there, if the But if you were to believe that it was something like that, which I do. Mm-hmm. It's got to be somebody around him that just knows. And know? I, I would would you say one person or multiple? No, it's got to be multiple, dude. I would agree. It's got to be multiple. I would agree. It's never like a broad subject either. It's, it's something very so specific. specific. That's what I'm like, saying. That's what makes sometimes it sometimes to like a score of a yes. game like, or like a date. if he if he would have or if, he, if it was like Trump becomes president, okay, mm-hmm. but the exact date. So Going we'll, we'll down see an what escalator, this one. the poster yeah. falling at the same time. It, like, it's all it's really weird. Like, yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's too. It's and then I think like, okay, so did they see it on the Sims and then then just recreate it, or I'm I don't know, but it just looks. You could crazy. argue that th- that's a thing that they maybe they recreate these things to feed into so, the yeah, success to feed of the yeah. just so it can get more publicity. not even publicity, that. yeah, because even that, even that like it can influence you to if if you fall into this thing where you you kind of. Tr- for lack of better words, trust in the show to predict the future. You're like, oh, okay, like this just happened. I bet this is going to happen. I be- I feel like subconsciously you might lean towards doing things that may encourage that. Yeah. So if you recreate these situations, people will be more open to it. So, so they're using so it as in an a influence sense, to make things happen. In a sense, he's like writing our future through The Simpsons, is what you're trying to say. I'm, I'm, I'm not, 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 to exactly, but yeah, like I'm saying, it's a possibility. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I got you. Don't get me wrong; that is way far out there. No, yeah, it is. But, but I mean, we're talking about a cartoon predicting the future here. So. Yeah, there's a, not a lot of places exactly like, that are too far to My go. My point exactly, so. Dave. What you got? I got one more. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> oh, oh see, here we go. He's Let me still hear. On. <laughs> Says here, released in 1984. Right. Uh huh. The Simpsons predicted this podcast. They were releasing Shut episodes up. in 1984. Uh, he's, <laughs> just like, being dumb. he's just being dumb. I, I didn't uh, even hear the second part. All I heard was 1984. I was like, there wasn't even color TV back then. No, man. no. I don't even know what there is. I'm just kidding. There was definitely color TV. I, I don't know. I'm just kidding. I was pretty sure. Um, <laughs> but uh, that so does, I was pretty sure. <laughs> uh, you, you had me confident, too. I was like, oh, yeah, no, no, no. And I was oh, like, wait, yeah, 1984 yeah. is absolutely. I don't know, dude. Um. That brings us to... They didn't have TVs over there in Vietnam, man. I don't know. <laughs> Shut up. I'm just kidding. That brings us to our... Um, the moment that many people have when been... I oh, my gosh. Up. The moment that many people wah, have wah. been... <laughs> Can I play that? Yeah, that? play it. Wah, wah. There you go. <laughs> I don't know who recorded that. I don't know that, who recorded dude. that on the soundboard. I don't know. That's, who, not, Aaron. that's not Aaron. I don't that's know who Aaron. did that, though. Sounds like it's him. some random person. Wait, wait, wait. Lauren, Lauren. Lauren, do you hear that? Uh, yeah. Lauren, do you hear that? Lauren, do you hear that? Do Lauren, hear what do you hear? Let him know. What do you hear? David Safari? What? David Safari? Say right? it again. David Safari? Oh my God, it's David it's Safari. It's David Safari. David Safari. It's back. It is back. And you it better is. be ready, David. He's not ready. Look at him. He's I had, not I ready. I had it on my phone, but I'm watching the live stream on my phone. So okay. Let me, let okay. me get. Have we gotten sick. anything? Nah, How many people are in here? He wants to get deep, he said. 
How many? Four people. Okay. Our followers have actually gone up, though. I know. I Last know. time I, t- I talked to you about it, it was like 50 All right. something. Sorry. Now we're in the 70s. See, I don't have any. So- wow, 70s. Yeah, I don't have social 70s. media. Dude, so- make a burner. I'm not going to make a burner. One more follower. <laughs> yeah. Make a Finsta. Make a Finsta. <laughs> yeah. A Fansta. A Fanta. Let's think of a name for his Finsta. Not a Fanta. An ocean water from Sonic, but add cherry. Dude, stop. I don't know about that one. Dude, nah. stop. 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 <laughs> if, you, right. if you've been to Lowe's, you know. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Skyler said he wants to get deep, so this one. I, I mean, I, uh, I said, me personally. Like deep, like like holes, like them, like the dig, like the. Deep, like, like listen to the question. Like buddy. the movie Holes, like that. I love that movie. That's a five by five hole right there, boy. Yeah. <laughs> that movie's mid. No way. You're lying, dude. That movie's no mid. way. Don't that should be our started. judge pudge for the day. Ain't no way that movie's dude, mid. There's no judge you're pudge. Insane, you're insane. You're the judge. You're wrong on that, that one. movie's mid. You're insane. I've seen think that. So this many is anarchy. Movie. I've seen so many movies in my life, and that movie's mid. I'm going to watch that tonight, actually, dude. I'm I talking love Greatest that Showman. Banger. That's a good movie. Right? I've never seen it. But Holes. All of the Pirates of the Caribbean. What? I'd rather watch Elton John live in New York. On Disney Plus, then watch Holes. But David, I mean, it, his first fair, name it, it, and his last Elton name were spelled John. the same way, just backwards. Elton John is. Oh, for is real? Good. Yes, Stanley Yelnats. Okay. Y'all ready? <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. This, this question, I'm honestly glad I don't have to answer it because I don't know what I would say. Oh, man. oh, Lauren has to. She's first. She starts it off. Question of the day mm-hmm. What are you holding? What are you holding on to? That's holding you back. Oh, man. Do you want to defer? Do you want to go? I, I can. I think I can answer this right off the bat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Tyler, take the take the lead on this one. Um, so for me, I, something that's holding me back, like right now that I'm holding on to, I think um, I'm, I'm very confident. Like I, I've grown a lot, but I still think there's an inch of doubt in me. Like an inch of doubt, like... um. Like, for instance, I'm graduating, but, like, there's, in a weird way, a part of me that's, like, no, you're not. Like, because I didn't think I'd get here. Because it, it took me it took me a lot, man. Like, it was, uh, I, I kind of veered off the path and the, through hard work, dedication. Um, we've talked about it through a lot of faith. Uh, I've, I've gotten back, and I had a great support system along the way. But there, there's, because of things like that support system, because of things like faith, there's a, a part of me that I hold myself back. Cause I'm not, I can't let go of the fact that's like, well, what if I mess up again? Yeah. But I, I understand that that's okay. Cause in my eyes, if you're scared to fail, you're, you're doing something right. If I'm not worried, don't get me wrong. Like I I'm all for confidence, but if I'm not worried about failing, something's wrong. Yeah. You know what I mean? If I'm, I don't care if I had a number, if I had a number one, you know, the best team in all of history playing against the worst team in all of history. I'm still going to be scared to lose. I don't want to lose. You know what I mean? So there's that, that little bit of doubt kind of, kind of holds me back. But at the same time, I think it's um it's a bittersweet thing. It's motivating too. It kind of puts me in a place where it doesn't allow my head to get too big. It doesn't allow me to get too confident, but because of it, it allows me to kind of work with the chip on my shoulder, try to put that extra work in, do more than the other guy. You know, you don't ever want to let the other guy be. I was one of the first things y'all know, coach Gomez, I was one of the lack because he's not at the at where I'm working anymore, um, and he literally said, "The best advice I can give you is don't let anyone outwork you. Don't let anyone outwork you in your field. Just work harder than everyone else. At the very least, work harder than everyone else. Because if it comes down to a guy that's just as good as you, but he's been working less than you, odds are they're going to take the guy that's been working more. So." So yeah, but I I do think it's it's a it's a it's a positive negative situation. Why, why are you laughing, David? That's a good one. It well, takes a lot of self reflection. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Why Why are you laughing though, David? Yeah. I'm here. I'm here. I'm just, I, it 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 touched me. Did it no? touch you? Yeah. It okay. touched me. Okay. I I could say I'm kind of in the same boat. Uh huh. So, like, being scared that the choice I make in my career being a wrong choice. Mm-hmm. Because, like, I have put a lot of time into school and have been going, like, for a while now. And, honestly, like, I struggled for a bit. And I think a majority of it was because 
in the back of my mind was like if I like if I finish now and I start I start my grown up life, like what happens if I fail like and I have to come back and I have to do like everything over again. So like I think that's like the biggest thing holding me back is being scared that that when I graduate I wanna m mi- I wanna move to a big city and do uh like in a bigger market and uh get into my career and like what if I I do all like all, do everything I want to say I want to do and then just none of it pans out for me. Like that's yeah. that's the biggest thing holding me back. But like recently, I've gotten better at at like you said, like just not being afraid t- to to let it all go wrong. Like you know what? Yeah, like, I'm gonna put my foot in the gas, give it 110 percent, and if it doesn't work, like I, I tried. That's what I'm you saying. Know? Like just like work. I I put I put everything I had into it. So. That's it's it's been helping me recently, like getting back on track and everything, and and trying to get done with uh, with school. Um, but for a long time, like that was my biggest. It was like it was like my biggest insecurity. Like I never wanted to to show it ever. Like oh, I, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm and not wanting to show I ne- it kind of eats at you, right? I never want to be like like that old saying, like show your like how people show like yeah. their weakness and like like no like. I, I never wanted to, to like show like I was doing bad or like I was like someone was going on with school. I never wanted to be that guy or anything. So like just accepting the fact that, you know what, I was that for a while. It, it's it's helping. But that is like what's been holding back is being scared to fail if real I quick, when I start my life. Real quick, real quick. Now, I don't know if you want to give a shout out to your friend. Luda just joined. Ludacris, what's up? You got a friend named Ludacris. Her name, her name's Chris, Kristen. But oh, okay. <laughs> but Ludacris, like, oh, that's pretty dope. Hey, that's pretty dope. <laughs> but I think I think that's also why it's like sweeter when you do succeed. Yeah, you know, because you you yeah. you, you kind of hold that. You know what I mean? And that's the thing. I I think sometimes it's okay to hold on to something. You know, even if it is a little it's, bit of negativity. It, it was kind of like, did you ever hear? Um, John Jones, like whenever he was fighting, he was saying like he would go he would go on a bender a week before his fight. Really? Oh, every every single fight, no matter who was That's interesting. And he'd go on a bender because he was like, you know, if I lose this next weekend, it's because I went on a bender. If I didn't if I if I win, I'm just that guy. But if I lose, it's because of this. He created that kind of, you know what, if I fail, I have this excuse. So that's kind of like in my position, like I was like, you know what? I'm not going to try in school. Like I'm not going to because you know what? If I don't do good and I don't succeed, it's because I didn't try. I I had that kind of excuse built in and like I've gotten. You wanted to feel, you didn't want to feel as bad about Like if I tried and I met. And you failed. Yeah. I didn't want to be like that. Like I just always said like, you know what? Like if, if I don't, if I don't put effort into like the late studies or like all the other stuff, like. If I fail, like I fail. It's yeah. it's because I didn't do any of that. It's not because I didn't try. Like yeah. it's not. It's not because it's not like I'm not. I'm not getting it or anything like yeah. that. You know. It's just because eh, I didn't really. Yeah. Do so like. And look at that. Tables have turned. Now we yeah. put in that work. Heck yeah. Yeah. Uh, for me, I think it would be m- my sister. Um, I love my sister. She's 11 years older than me, so we're not close at all. Mm-hmm. Cause she. I don't know. She had like a hard uh, time being a teenager and all that. And she has a different dad than my dad. And my dad stepped in as her dad. Okay. And she's had it pretty rough. But, I mean, those are her choices. Those are her decisions. And I feel like when I defend her to my mom and my dad, they tell me stuff that I've never known. And so I'm holding on to her like, um, what's it called? Like, don't don't be rude to her. Don't like kick her while she's down. Yeah. But in the end, she does that to herself. So like I'm holding on to her, even though she makes bad decisions. Like I'm holding on to her, and I want a relationship with my nieces and all my nephews. Yeah. So I'm holding on to her, even though she's like really toxic, like for for me, my family and stuff. But it's just like a family thing. Like I don't know. I, every family has their different situations. Yeah. I, everyone but, everyone has their black sheep too. Yeah. You know. And I don't like that she feels like that, but, <laughs> I mean, it's just her distancing herself away from the family. So, and, and you're holding on to that. Like, you're trying to, you're, you're literally I'm holding on to hold that her, relationship. Yes, I'm trying yeah. to hold her, like, to the whole family yeah, pretty like much. Yeah, like, you're trying and to be the, the, 
the the glue. You're trying yes, to mend I'm it. I'm trying to be the mediator, but it just doesn't work. And I think that's what's holding me back, like with our mine and her relationship, and mine and my parents, because I always constantly defend her to them. Mm-hmm. And so well, that's a, that's a good comfort there, David. That was very sweet. Of you. <laughs> Start a nice little shoulder rub. Yeah, yeah, that was sweet. <laughs> Do you want to throw a curveball and try and get in on this, or are you just going to – I know you usually don't, but I'm just offering it up real quick. I'll tell you what's holding me back. <laughs> Let me hear you. Oh, man. COVID. <laughs> 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 I would have been done with college by now if it wasn't for COVID. Could have went to state. Yep. Could have went to state. <laughs> Actually, no, I did go to state. For what? Welding. <laughs> Welding. Oh, that's right. Three years in a row, and we, we didn't get to go my senior year because COVID canceled it. Wow. Cove is holding me back. Cove is holding me back. You want to know what happened? I made it to state for Hosa. I never did. I made it to state for Hosa, but you know why I couldn't go? It was after I signed to play college ball. Don't ask me why this man's logic was this, but Zamora failed me. He failed me after I signed. And he was like, that's a reality check, son. And I was like, a reality check for, for what? He was like, you need to work harder. He's like, I've been helping you out with your grades. I've been kind of, you know, doing what I can for you guys and everything. But now no one's going to help you in college. So he failed me. And I had, like, I had to start really putting my nose to the grindstone in math. Luckily, Crystal, you know, kind of held my hand through it. But I hate how he's like that, yet was doing the college running back's homework the entire period. Oh, yeah. He was doing all his homework the entire period. His, it was, his old running back in, that played here at Tamuk. It was wild. You know? But, but I was yeah. like, "Come on, dude!" I, like, I, I he he kept me from going to state. Could have had a state. I went to state in in Deca. Oh, I do remember you going. Were you, were, were you alternate though, or were you? No, were you I actually made it. Oh wow! And I, I want to say, top two go to nationals. Uh huh. And we got third at state. So we were we were alternate for nationals. Me, okay. uh, me and Philip. I can't remember who our third, and I think. Mystery P. Rammy. Mystery P. I think Rami was Mystery our third. P. Oh wow, that's pretty we cool. We did like a like a, a a paper on like writing. I mean, a uh, creating like a, a Kevlar vest, but with man made spider webs, like to like increase the strength of a spider web. But oh, it yeah. is now, you but see, like you know, spider web, if an, they're it's if like it, the strongest, most flexible material. Exactly. So like like maximizing that to like human size and like putting it inside the Kevlar vest would be lighter and like take more. But like where you get a spider that big? I say it's man made. Have you seen Lord of the Rings? Okay. I've never. It, and it's plus it's just like it's Charlie's all hypothetical. Web? It's not a real thing. Charlotte's <laughs> Web. <laughs> but that's that's pretty. Dumb. That was a I, that I went was a to good Hosa topic. State also, really. But I didn't go as David. You, who'd you go as? Marcos. Did you really? <laughs> yeah. Are you? I, what? I went as Marcos. How? Was it to go vote? Yeah, Marcos. Is, we did the. All, all we had to do was people. I, people gave like speeches, and we had to vote for which one. So. I just voted for the first one that's left. I want to say he went as me my senior year to go vote because I, I, I had a baseball Mar- Marcos tournament. Marcos had a shot put. I had a baseball tournament, and he went to go vote as me my senior and year. It was the Mark? Yeah, Marcos know. had shot put. I didn't do shot put because I was still recovering from my shoulder. Uh-huh. So. Still recovering from my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> still recovering. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> still recovering. Uh, your shoulder. Uh-huh. I, that's why I'm not in the gym. Yeah. It still hurts. You're, <laughs> you're such a liar, <laughs> dude. <laughs> it's just cold weather. It's not cold. It's like, a, it's like 110 outside. Yeah, all right, hot. I'm lazy. It's hot. It is hot. Let's go after this. I have. No. I actually do have shoulders and I arms can't. today. Why? I got stuff to do. He's no, you go. don't. He, he, he does. I'm he not does. lying. He does. I'm he not does. Lying. He, he does. has to help me clean my car. But I'm <laughs> Let keeping, her clean I'm her car keeping, by herself. No, I've asked for his help. I'm keeping a lie count. I've heard two lies. Oh, Dave's lie count. Here I we heard go. three, but I mean, we'll go with two. Okay, we can we can go with three. I believe you. Did he say he loves you? Make it four. (laughs) (laughs) All right, what's the next? The next segment is my segment, Random Question. Random Question. All right, Lauren, you listen to the podcast. Do you you know how it works? We need to give you a briefing. Oh, I know how it works. Okay, so you do get your mulligan. I'll read it to you. Okay. And if you you want another one, we can get you another one. So what is one thing you have always wanted to do but haven't had the opportunity to do yet? Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'll just do this one. I think that I have a pretty good singing voice, and I want to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I want to get in a studio and just sing my heart out and see if it's good. I think. Hey, that, we're in a studio right now, right? We are in a studio, studio right, right now. Right now. Hey yo. Give us a little. Give us a little. Um. 
little Jenny no, said, cool. I, I have to be alone. I have to be alone. Because I'm proud to be <laughs> an American. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Every okay. Wednesday. Okay. Every Wednesday. But yes, Every that's uh, at Bishop. They would make you do that. Remember? I don't remember. Oh, that. I just drop where we went to school. Oh. Just oh. drop where we went to school. Oh, oh my God. The go. The go. The location. Go. The location. <laughs> okay. No, y'all definitely talked about this on the podcast before. My though. social security, where, where everything. Oh just drop gosh. it all. Yeah, his socials one, 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 one. Might as well tell me I got $20 in my bank account right now. <laughs> <laughs> It's the beginning of the month. <laughs> oh man, it's coming up. It's coming up. But yes, nah, I, just I pay my bills. My bills are paid. Our bills paid. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, damn it. You don't know. But how does it go? It's hard. Like, there are things you can do. You, you just want to be a big baby about it. <laughs> <laughs> I pay my bill. My, my bills are paid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but. Okay, that, that's. I think I can. We. I think I was supposed to be a singer. I think I was supposed to be famous well, too. You, you can book. No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Why was that funny? That was just the last thing I. I <laughs> hey, that's my girlfriend you're talking about, buddy. I the really last thing I expected I to come out was like, I've never heard someone. Yeah, I think I was supposed to be famous, but here I am sitting in a but podcast here I room. Am. Like, I think I should. Did have anybody like come into that, David? TV show or something. Oh. I would love it. I think I would get some viewers. Interesting. <laughs> And some listeners. Well, maybe you need to come in here and have do a recording. Andrew, I'm down. Do a recording. But um, who's going to go next? How are we going to do it? Who wants to go next? I'll go next. Oh. I'll go next. Right after his lady. Yeah. yeah. If, you ha- if you had the power to change one thing about the world, what would it be and why? One thing. One thing. Anywhere. It, well, it's in the world. It's so in the entire a, world. The entire world. The prices of things. I feel like everything's so expensive nowadays. Uh-huh. Like, <laughs> that's what you're picking. That is, yeah, I really. Okay, okay. I, you're not. You'd probably be like, "Ooh, you should do something good for you know the world, right?" I mean, no. I would stop global warming. Would you say that? No. Hey, so don't look at me like that. World bro. peace, world hunger. Yeah, like, world there's like hunger, s- yeah. so many Curing things you could have gone with. Yeah, curing all diseases. Yeah. You could rid. If <laughs> if if God didn't want them, why are they here? If God didn't want the prices to go up, why are the prices going up? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> We're in the same boat. But then why are you We're picking that over everything boat, else? <sighs> I really thought he was going to say just, something just, like every Pokemon I caught, uh, any Pokemon ever would be a shiny or something uh-huh, like that. Just go to Matt. You already, you already made me feel like a freaking poopy. Yeah. <laughs> made you feel poopy. <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead. The prices. The Mr. Prices. Poopy Butt. Oh, you, you think that I'm like, I hate the world now, so I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't no, hate the world. Fine. It's just... I'm not a world it's peacer. Just, I just love how that's the first place that you. There needs to be rage. Wow. What? Wow. You could still be mad, you know. Yeah. If, if, if you solve world hunger or something. Yeah, I know. Like just, sol- just, just solve, just solve world hunger and like, and then, and then no just like be mad at the world. It's like oh, there's world peace. I can't be mad at you. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I apologize. My bad. My bad. Uh, like, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. like in Canada, actually, I'm sorry, but actually, that, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. actually, no, now that I think about it, I probably do world peace. <laughs> <laughs> I probably do world hunger also. <laughs> <laughs> I probably just solve all I'd, the world's I'd, problems I'd just in one wish. Just, I'd probably just put the world in creative mode. Oh, okay, that's nice. <laughs> yeah. that's, nice. that's so sweet of you. That's dope. But we'll we'll, we'll say your prices. No, nah, that's okay. You would lower the <laughs> lower the price of. I, no, I just feel like it, like, but won't everything would, go back up? Or wouldn't wouldn't it be like smartest to increase the value of the dollar? So Wouldn't what? that just lower the prices of everything? But if you, because it, it happens all around the world. So if you increase everything by one dollar, like if you increase the value of everything by one dollar, or the value of the dollar by one, but everything else everything would just go up by one. That's just it's just the way the world works, man. Yeah, world's confusing. It is confusing. It's supply and demand. All right, type Matt, stuff. You're up, or you know what? I've I've been going, I've been going last. I'll I'll go first, or not first, but I'll go before you. Um, we've done this one before. That's actually weird. On ChatGPT? Yeah, that's weird. Wow. You can report if it's repeated something. Nice. Yeah. Um, if you could witness any event in history firsthand, which one would you choose and why? That is such a good one. <laughs> I feel like mine's kind of cliche. Uh, the birth of Jesus Christ. Hmm. I would like to be there for that. Wow. I, I, I don't know where my mind was going, but it wasn't there. 
Yeah, I think that's that's a really good one yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, that's a really good one. That that's where that's what I'd want to be. I was thinking more along the lines of like the last time the Bears were in the Super Bowl and Devin Hester returned the first one for a touchdown. But I mean, yours is really great. Wow, that's you know? so great of you, Matthew. Yeah, so <laughs> my question, my answer's not looking too bad now. Is it? <laughs> you could have been there for what the the Declaration of Independence. Yeah. It could have been on the back of a two dollar bill if you would have been there, dude. Oh, that would have been cool. Nope, nope. You that's already, you already picked the, it. You I like where it. You already picked it. That's not my question. That's his. Oh, it is mine. Oh, sorry. But, but I do like how his mindset, like, where he went to be in the back of a two-hour bill, dude. I feel like you always get deep ones. What is it? What is one piece of advice you would give to your younger self if you had the chance? One piece of advice. Um, Don't play that football game, son. <laughs> Don't tackle that guy. Just Don't push him out of bounds, guy. buddy. No, need no to because I wouldn't be on the podcast. That's true. You wouldn't be on the pod. Um... I would say, oh, I could have said the Greek God, God. Be a little more humble. Okay. <laughs> wow. Be a little more humble. I mean, you you knew the kind of yeah guy I was. <laughs> I mean, I've always loved you though. Never never been in question. I was Aww, the I'll best be. all around, even if I wasn't. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I was best. I was best all around. Even I mean, I was voted all best all around in senior you were, year. You but, were voted best all around. But I was, you know. That's cute. The best, no matter what I did. Even if I wasn't the best, you know. Best so. all around's cute. Okay, we get it. You're a prom king for the prom that didn't happen. Oh, okay. my gosh. Don't even bring that but up. But, yeah, I would if I were to give my, my younger self any advice, I mean, I wouldn't really change anything that's happened. I feel like I learned everything for the better. Mm-hmm. And I came out a, a better man because of it. But just be a little more humble. It would be a, a pretty Aww. good advice. Thanks, I like man. it. I like it. Thanks, man. I'm here for it. That was a good one. All right. This brings us to our final segment. Um, oh, we already, yeah, I was going to ask Oren, but we, we did yours first. What really grinds my gears? All right. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we know the way it goes. Um, do you want to defer or do you want to go first? Um, I'm going to give this one to Matt. Or David. Oh, oh, David wants it. No, yeah, David, David wants it. David wants it. Go, David. Yeah, I don't right, want it. Grab the mic. All right, all right. Give it <laughs> All right. I'll take I guess, it. I'll take it. I guess. <laughs> whatever. Whatever. Has anyone said anything, by the way? Say anything? Uh, I don't know. David. David's watching the comments. The comments. Yeah, was a, um, um, he said something about me, but it was, I don't know. Okay. It said, well, how many people are on Change there? the price of things, question mark. Why not just make them free? Who that's said a, that? Rad. Oh, that's our uh, Rad the one twenty four DMing us. Remember? Oh my gosh! Um, Rad twenty four oh seventy two thousand. Oh my god! Not Jared! Not Jared! Um, that's not name dropped entirely here. Let's. Oh my gosh, Jerry! It's not Jerry. <laughs> oh, it's not Jerry. <laughs> oh, it's not Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. Jerry has his own account. Oh. This is the one that I was showing you. Had like the name. <gasps> this is the one. I think this is grand. My grandpa. I think it's my grandpa. Really? I think it's my grandpa. I think he created an Instagram. Grandpa, if it's you, I love you. And there it's, and he was. He said, he I'm she, not your grandpa. Oh, really? I was kidding. <laughs> no, no. And here she was so talking I'm, about. You uh, are not my grandchild. Uh, about the cart being left. Yes, that really grinds his gears, the cart being left. That might be my grandpa. That happened to me the other day at work, dude. Ooh, did that make you mad? Dude, I got a big old scratch in my car. You know what the crazy part was? What's up? I'm the one that hit it with the cart. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was trying to fit through a little crease and I hit the. Ooh, I was so mad. But um, what what grinds your gears? You haven't said yet. Uh, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go out there and say it. My brother. Oh, not Matthew. Oh, but you didn't say. You know what really grinds my oh. gears? No, oh. you, you know what really grinds my gears? What, gri- <laughs> <laughs> what grinds your gears, David? I did. It, I did it in my Batman voice. Um, my brother. Don't get me wrong. I. I, I didn't mean that. To pre- it was supposed to be when you were taking forever. But oh. it, 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 don't get me wrong. I love him to death. Um, Ota, the oldest brother above me and Matt. Mm-hmm. Um, I love him to death, but. It's our guy. Sometimes, dude, he just really grinds my gears. <laughs> that's brothers. Like, that's dude, brotherly love. Like, yeah. dude. No, you, you I told need, me. I need new gears at this point. Honestly. Uh, that, that grinded? Yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah. I used to grind my teeth at night. <laughs> yeah, Lord made me buy a whole Dude, yeah, that's I'm crazy, crazy bro. Yeah, I lost it <laughs> our, our, our dentist was like giving him dabs Because he was like, you're grinding in your sleep 
Dang. But yeah, okay. uh, uh, yeah. Grand Cherokee. Yeah, I'm not gonna get into much detail because I'll be here forever. Yeah. So, but but I, you, you told me <laughs> we some were stories. playing yeah. Pokemon forever because of it. You were talking about oh, it last yeah. night. Oh yeah. <laughs> you just had to get out. Just needed to. Yeah. Yeah. I I've done that before. I felt like um, that movie with that little red dude. It's like, what is going on inside her mind? Oh, what is going on inside her head? Is it? Uh, Feeling inside out, no, it's inside In- out. Yeah, I feel so like inside out. Oh, dude, dude I movie. wanted to explode. Good movie. I love that movie. Wow, yeah, well, I'm glad. I'm glad you. I got you, it out. I got it out. Good, good. I'm good. I'm glad. I'm Thank glad. you. You're welcome. I need to practice on that though. I'm getting my getting stuff out. That's good. It's yeah. healthy. I usually keep it to myself. Well, that that's that's not, it's not healthy. I'm not a healthy dude. <laughs> you look healthy. You look great. I woke up this morning at 6 a.m., ate a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I woke up it. I love and it. And you know what else happened? What happened? I you were up after. eating pizza when I was going to class. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Well, I, I read he was, yeah. dude. Dang. I was walking out like it. That's kind of I don't of know. Class was at eight. I was walking out at like seven fifty ish, and he was just in the kitchen, like What's up? <laughs> eating pizza with the lights off. I was like, yeah, that's anything. Oh no, there's more people. Oh, okay. Um. Who you mean you, you you can defer? You know what grinds my gears, Skylar? What grinds your gears, Lord? When I'm washing dishes by hand and Ooh. somebody puts a dish in the sink and they you kinda have you have to like move so they can get in there and put uh-huh. it. So what do you want them to do if it's dirty though? Clean it yourself. Oh. I am Did you do this recently? All of these dishes uh, and no. you're you're gonna throw a spoon in Excuse and the me. water's gonna splash at me. No, no, no. You're gonna clean that spoon yourself. See, this is something that we would no, 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 no. <laughs> this is something that we we probably would never say because I, I mean, I when I when I whoa, wash dishes, whoa, 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 whoa. when I wash dishes, it, the, the times I do, it's just me. So it's like, uh, I thought you were going somewhere else with this. I was like, whoa, Skyler, that's no. What do you wash dishes? Yeah, I wash dishes, well, but I mean, like you where, said, like us. That's your point. Like at the guys, I was like, "Whoa, Skyler!" No, I meant like this is something that like I just think we wouldn't have to deal with, and you're, you're twisting my words. I'm just gonna stop. What do, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? I know what you mean by that. Go ahead, Lauren. <laughs> because the boys in my house, the rules are: the girls clean inside, they cook, they clean, they're inside. Really? Yes, and the men's work is outside, so the men do all the work outside, but. I just hate, and they just come in sweaty after finishing a long day, and they eat that the meal I just prepared, and then they want to throw a spoon at me in the sink when I've just washed and cleaned tell and tell did em. everything. Tell them. No. Clean. You're, you're driving a tractor. <laughs> you're driving a tractor. You're not, like, putting out some hard labor. I could drive the tractor. Just wash the spoon. Sorry. So then why don't you drive the tractor? Yeah. I mean, wa- washing dishes. Do you know how to drive the tractor? I do, and the reason why I don't is because they. She probably wrecked it. Is no. <laughs> <laughs> Davis giving me a look over there. No. Oh my gosh! I had three fender benders in one month, and now it's like the story <laughs> of my whoa, life. Whoa! Whoa! You don't just graze over that, like oh, I got three fender benders. Like in no biggie. Month. In Not one, a who, who put that curb there? Like, like <laughs> it happened four years ago. It needs to go away already. <laughs> how oh, how man. how much? How long after you got your license was this? Two months. Mm. <laughs> it, I was going through a hard time. <laughs> so was your car. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she was, but oh, she's man. outside running. Well, she's all running. Right, you no, a, she's a to B is all that matters. All right, one more. We got a uh, quick comment from George and Mel. Okay, they said, "Where is the GM?" Oh yeah, I don't know. Aaron, I put in the group chat Aaron that we're having. Respond. He is MIA. He's MIA. He doesn't like us anymore. <laughs> hopefully he, he doesn't. Is. He's MIA, but hopefully he's a okay. Amen, brother. Amen, brother. <laughs> Matt, you're Ain't up. Ain't got no gas in it. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I had one. <laughs> Skylar, can you go real quick? Uh, I can, I can. I'll ask you the question, Skylar. <clears throat> okay, go ahead. Oh, uh, actually, I got it now. Never mind, he's here. I got it now. Okay. You know what really grinds my gears? What grinds your gears, Matt? That one was a little So, raspy. I liked it. Oh, that's okay. So, if you're working out at the gym... And like they're at old school, like there's some guys that can like can move some weight, like a lot of weight, you know. And there's this one guy in particular. I don't know his name. I don't know anything about him, but he he's strong. I, like he's real strong. He's a big old dude. He's strong. This is where again? There at uh at old school. Okay. 
and you know he gets real he gets real rowdy. He's always up yelling, screaming, listening to music, singing out loud, dancing and stuff. But he will put on a bunch of weight and bench. So like he'll put like three fifteen, and for people that don't know, that's three forty five pound plates on each side of the bar. And he'll bench that, and he'll just, like, rack it and leave and won't unrack any of his weights. You're lying. But he won't only do that. He'll go to the to the dumbbells. He'll do some stuff with, like, 80-pound dumbbells and just leave them thrown there right in the middle of the gym floor. No, I'm okay. Thank you. Okay. Leave them just thrown <laughs> there uh, right in the middle of the gym floor uh-huh. and just, like, walk away from it. And I know, like, one time um, he, like... He, like, left, I don't know, like, a 45 on, like, the curl bar. Uh-huh. And I asked him, I was like, hey, like, he had walked away, and I was like, I walked up. I was like, are you using this? He's like, no, nah, why would I be using that? I'm like, man, like you're, you were just you're, leaving the, you're leaving the weights on all your stuff. Like, I just don't know what you're using and what you're not using. Like, mm-hmm. unrack your stuff. It's not that hard. Like, it takes literally tops a minute. Exactly. Tops a minute. That's got to be the one thing that's been... It's because it, I'm saying that's because it happened two days ago, and I had to like unload a bunch of weight, and I was so mad. Why so. are you laughing? <laughs> George commented, "What y'all munching on?" Oh man, <laughs> bro, I got this from work. I love that actually, I'll take George because it could be Melanie. No, that's yeah, definitely it, George. It, from that one comment, it's chili lime and sea salt gourmet Virginia. I peanuts. knew it tasted a hint of lime. The lime, that's good. Yeah. You didn't read the label? No, I just ate. I just ate. That's good. Oh, though. dude, they're fixing the clothes. What time is it? It's four fifty-seven. All right. What grinds your gears, Scott? What really grinds my gears is that we don't have our own podcast room. <laughs> Amen. True. And we need one. It's true. Oh my! They they turned. Dude, did they forget we're here? There's they no just way. turned off the lights. Okay. Is it bad? Is that bad? <laughs> I don't know, but we're doing the outro. We got to do an abrupt ending. Okay. All right, guys. Thank y'all for joining <laughs> us. Uh, thank y'all for tuning in on Instagram. You guys are amazing. We are. I think I'm almost positive. Yeah, they they forgot about us. There's no way they forgot about us. It's dark out there. It's got to be one of the funniest yeah. endings, though. Wow. This is, okay. <laughs> hey, if you got Podcast anything, send an email, send an Instagram huh? message. We will be going live more often. Not every single time, but more often we will. For sure. Podcast 24 hour edition in the locked library. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. Library. I was supposed to be. At, I'm true. I'm still eating peanuts. I probably stopped. I was supposed to be at work 30 minutes ago. You're fine. Okay. I did call them. Let them know yeah. I'm gonna be late. But I was going to call in today, but we're quick. George said, turn my old room into a pod room. Thinking about That's it. actually a good idea. Yeah. Except for the fact that I have like eight dogs and they're loud. All right, guys. Love y'all. Y'all are amazing. Thank y'all so much for being amazing. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for spending time with us. This is Sky and I'm out. They watch old.